Welcome to the UWIN Tool Parade, the teacher-to-teacher -teacher open overview of what EdTech can do for you. From the University of Windsor's Faculty of Education, I'm Dr. Lindsay Jaber, and today we're discussing TED-Ed. You've probably seen TED Talks. TED-Ed is a YouTube channel hosted by TED. So TED-Ed provides teachers and students with short animations, educational talks, and lesson plans. Curricular topics include science and technology, social sciences, and critical thinking, but it's not just resources. It offers interactive elements to network classrooms together. Teachers can create lessons based around videos, and students can create their own talks. TED-Ed is free, though they do solicit donations. Nonprofit giant TED focuses on ideas worth spreading. TED-Ed is about lessons worth sharing. TED-Ed films lessons by some great, or at least famous, educators and makes them available under a Creative Commons license. The fact that it's all free doesn't mean that ideas aren't big money for TED. Tickets to the flagship invite-only TED conference cost thousands of dollars per person. Speakers and lesson creators do not get paid, and most TEDx events are run by volunteers. On the data front, teachers and students can search for videos without signing in, as you can with any YouTube channel. If you want to sign in and use the platform's lesson capacity, they ask for your name, email address, and password. If you sign in through Facebook or Google, TED-Ed gains access to those user profiles. They also track IP data, site usage, popularity searches, and favorites, as do most social network platforms. They do not sell data to third parties, but they work with third parties to drive behavioral advertising within the larger TED ecosystem. TED-Ed saves student progress and manages permissions around students' videos. These are generally unlisted, so they're protected from trolls on the open web. If students have internet access to watch videos from home, TED-Ed can be a way to flip the classroom. Learners go over content independently, then use class time to engage hands-on with the ideas. TED-Ed's lesson creator platform allows teachers to assign a video, structure an assignment around it, and assess it formatively or summatively. The platform can be a way to implement universal design for learning in the classroom. It offers videos, graphics, and hands-on activities to allow for multiple means of representation, engagement, and action. Students who make their own videos as part of TED-Ed clubs can show their learning in ways that do not necessarily demand writing. Video platforms tend to assume sighted users, but Zoom and captioning can help learners with vision challenges. TED-Ed can supplement paper and pencil collaborations if lessons are designed to connect students across classrooms and as creators. Otherwise, it's a YouTube channel. TED-Ed also offers a public classroom library which contains sample lessons. Let's rate TED-Ed. In terms of classroom use, TED-Ed provides a ton of content and allows for flipped classroom and student creation. It is likely to lead mostly to watching videos, but still three quarters of an apple. On the data front, TED-Ed tracks personal information and site behavior information. It doesn't sell data and keeps student videos unlisted, so three quarters of an apple. Finally, TED gets an apple for differentiated learning. It's user-friendly, highly visual, and accessible on a wide range of devices. It promotes the use of chunking, visuals, and simple text, which benefit both language learners and students with reading challenges. So that's two and a half apples for TED Ed. Thanks for talking TED Ed with You Win Tool Parade.